Flow Builder is an intuitive visual editor that's unique to ManyChat and it lets you build and personalize your automated conversations with messages, actions, transitions, integrations, and so much more, all without coding on your end. With Flow Builder, you're able to automate your messages quickly and visually so you can have better response times with your customers without adding more to your plate. But before you have the flow work for you, you need to know Flow Builder basics and how to set it up. So in this video, I'm going to be going over how to build some basic flows in Flow Builder for Instagram. To access Flow Builder, you want to go to automations here on the left hand side, which will then automatically put you in the flows area. We'll create a new flow. So what you want to do is click this plus new flow. When you click it, you'll see some of these quick campaign flow templates here. Once you're building your own flows though, you can start a flow from scratch by clicking the plus create empty flow. You want to create a name for it then you hit create once you're in the flow builder you'll always see a starting step and a message block connected to it as the foundation of all your flows then from this part you can build out your entire conversation with messages logic actions conditions and eventually you'll end up with a visual flow map of what the entire conversation looks like to your customers so your starting step here is what triggers the connected message in your flow to send you can double tap on the, the gray canvas area here and you'll see the options that you can add or you can click this the blue circle with the white plus and this drop down menu will allow you to also add the same things. So we'll first create an Instagram message and connect our starting step to this message. Uh, we can delete this messenger message since we're gonna be working with Instagram in this example. First create an Instagram step and then connect this and then that's where you can then delete the messenger message. You'll see that an Instagram message already includes a text block where you can type your message here. You can include text, you can also include emojis, and as well as coupon codes by clicking here, you can then put the coupon codes there, or you can choose a list of custom fields like their first name. Hello there, and then put their first name like that. And you can actually also add reply options in the form of quick reply buttons for customers to choose from and take them down different automated paths in your flow depending on their response. So you could say, and you can do a quick reply. Yes, I would. No, thank you. You can also add action steps in your flow. Then you just click on actions. And then this is where you can choose from all the different action options that there are. So you can see there's a whole list of actions that you can add in the step and you can have multiple actions also in the same step. So if you do add tag, you could add a tag there as well as mark conversation is open. So you can have multiple action steps in one box here. And we can actually create a tag that let's say wanted a discount code. So interested in discount code. So then that way they'll get this tag before they move to the next step so we can track these customers. Another thing you can do is add an image block. So you click here and make sure you're choosing Instagram because we're sticking with Instagram here and you just click on image. And here you can either upload an image or if you have an image that is online, like let's say from your website, you can just click here and then put in the image URL here in this box. Another amazing feature is the user input block. This allows you to ask customers a question and anticipate their reply type. You can choose the expected reply type by clicking here and you can see the list of options that you can choose from. So if you're asking customers for their email address, you'll set the reply type as email. And you'll see it'll automatically save it to the system field for you to retrieve and use later. And finally, the delay block allows you to add a specified delay between messages so you can control the pace of how messages fire. So I'll show you how that works. So let's say they gave their email. So we're gonna do another message here and say, okay, great. Here is your discount code. Then we can wait or do a delay block by doing smart delay. Let's just wait an hour 
and then follow up with them with another Instagram message that says, hello, first name. Were you able to use your discount code? Then you can add a quick reply. Yes, I, yes, I did. No, not yet. Then let's say here you have a, a message like wonderful. Let's say this, you want to give the coupon code again, duplicate this. You can just hit this and duplicate it. And then you can just modify it a little bit so it makes sense. No worries, here's your discount code. There you go. And the cool thing with Flow Builder also is that you can maneuver these blocks around wherever you would need that makes it more user-friendly for you. You just hit shift and then you drag your mouse, you click on your mouse and you drag it. And then that will allow you to select the blocks that you have there and you can move them around. Also allows you to duplicate them. So that way you're not having to recreate items from scratch every single time you can actually reuse some of the messages that you've created already. So that will definitely save you a bunch of time. Another cool feature is the auto arrange. So let me just kind of maneuver this around and let's just say that this is kind of looks not in line, right? But if you click this nifty little magic wand tool, it will auto arrange the steps. So it's in better alignment. So as you can see, the Flow Builder is a really intuitive way to build out your automated conversations, resulting in this amazing bird's eye view of your messages. But there's still more to unpack with the Flow Builder. So in the next video, I'll be going over a breakdown of the Flow Builder and using the features to build out a real flow with a business use case so you can see this powerful feature in action. So I'll see you in the next video.